For dinner tonight, we are having steak and gravy in the crock pot. My husband super glued my crock pot lid so it's back in business. Steak and gravy smells good in the crock pot. I've got potatoes cooking for mashed potatoes. Well, it's one potato. One potato is plenty for two people. It's going to be a lot. And then I also have canned green beans heating up. So that is what we are going to be having for dinner tonight. Steak and gravy, mashed potatoes, and green beans. And here it is. Steak and gravy, mashed potatoes, and green beans. And biscuits. And heart healthy red wine. So happy Tuesday. For dinner tonight, we are having leftover steak and gravy, mashed potatoes, green beans, and leftover biscuit. So happy Wednesday. For dinner tonight, I'm going to be making some spinach and ricotta ravioli. I have some leftover ragu that I opened so that I could fortify the spaghetti I had. We had ordered Vince's Takeout. That's a local spaghetti restaurant here in my area. And we ran out of sauce, so I fortified um, some of the leftovers with this sauce. But now I have a lot left over, so I'm going to use it tonight and put it over the spinach and ricotta ravioli. I'm also going to Add a bunch of vegetables, so I'm going to chop these up and saute these in a pan, and then add the sauce, and then add the ravioli. I'll probably put the spinach in there also, and we will sprinkle it with some Italian-style cheese. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Let's get to cooking, although it's not really cooking, it's just warming stuff up. So let's get to warming stuff up. And here it is, spinach and ricotta ravioli. I put some of the Italian cheese on top and some Parmesan cheese. It's too hot to make garlic bread, so we just have cold buttered bread with our dinner tonight. And so that is what we are having for dinner tonight. Happy hot, hot Thursday. It was 111 today, so that's pretty hot. And tonight, for dinner, we are having leftover ravioli, Caesar salad, and cold buttered bread, and heart healthy red wine. So happy Friday. Happy hot, hot Friday. And here it is, unauthentic Asian stir-fry, cream cheese wontons, heart-healthy red wine. Happy Saturday. For dinner tonight on Sunday night, we're having barbecue slash smoked salmon that my darling husband did on his grill, long grain and wild rice, and steamed broccoli, and heart-healthy red wine. So happy Sunday night. And we also have lemon for our salmon. And I need to get the tartar sauce out of the fridge. For dinner tonight on Monday night, we're having our leftover stir fry. One leftover cream cheese wonton. And this is leftover unauthentic Chinese chicken salad that we had at lunchtime yesterday. So happy Monday. For dinner tonight, we are going to have mushroom ravioli with grilled chicken and alfredo sauce. This is not really cooking, but we're gonna warm some stuff up. It's been a really bad heat wave here, but today's the last day. 
of the heat wave and so it is cooling off so we're just going to do a quick and easy warm up pair it with a cold salad and have garlic bread and that's our dinner for tonight and here it is mushroom ravioli with alfredo sauce parmesan cheese garlic toast and caesar salad so happy <laughs> i forgot it is taco tuesday today but we had tacos for lunch so that was our taco tuesday this is our dinner tonight happy tuesday all right for dinner tonight oh, we're so having one pollo at funko so i have chicken rice potato salad and beans so happy wednesday for dinner tonight we are going to have chicken parmesan so we have these chicken patties morning star chicken patties i found in the freezer there's three i'm going to bake them in the oven and we have some spaghetti that i'm going to cook up as well as some ragu and we will sprinkle it with parmesan cheese so that is what we are going to have is chicken parmesan with a caesar salad so let's get to cooking Here it is, chicken parmesan, Caesar salad, and a garlic hamburger bun bottom. And that's what we're having for dinner tonight. So happy Saturday. For dinner tonight we are having chicken spaghetti so last night I had some spaghetti noodles left over from the chicken parmesan so I just mixed them with chicken cream of mushroom soup onion orange bell pepper celery and a little bit of sour cream and some Greek yogurt and sprinkled cheese on top and baked it in the oven and made chicken spaghetti and then we are having green beans and corn to go with it. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Happy Sunday. For dinner tonight, we are having barbecue slash smoked salmon, long grain and wild rice and leftover green beans and corn from last night with some steamed zucchini to fortify the vegetables with. So that's what we're having on Monday night. Happy Monday. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I'm going to make chicken parmesan because I still have some leftover ragu and I want to use it up so I don't waste it. So I'm going to do, instead of those chicken patties that I did a couple nights ago, I'm going to do four of these nuggets. Four of these is about equal to one patty. Put four of these on the pan and I'm going to bake them in the oven and I have water boiling for my pasta and I have long grain not long grain whole grain spaghetti pasta I've got some parmesan cheese and the ragu so let's get to warming stuff up and here it is, the chicken parmesan and Caesar salad. And tonight I'm having a glass of white wine. So happy Tuesday. For dinner tonight, we still have some leftover spaghetti and it's not very saucy. I, I hope it's gonna be saucy enough.
but if it's not I'll have to open this jar and put some more sauce on it and then I'm going to cook up four of these for my husband four for me and we're going to do the chicken parmesan again we'll have a caesar salad and tonight I will make some garlic toast so let's get to warming it up and here it is, the leftover spaghetti. I did end up adding a half a cup of sauce to it. And the there's the four nuggets. Sprinkled it with Parmesan cheese and parsley and Caesar salad. And also garlic toast. So happy Wednesday. And... Here it is for dinner tonight. We are having barbecue slash smoked slash grilled salmon that my darling husband did outside. Thank you so much, darling husband. You are awesome. And the leftover long grain and wild rice from a few nights ago. And some asparagus that I roasted in the oven. And this is an apple feta balsamic vinegar salad. And then... I'm having white wine tonight. So happy Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. Yes, yours is beautiful also. Don't forget your salad. For lunch today, we are going to have this lean cuisine chicken teriyaki, but it's not enough for two people. So I have a lot of vegetables that really have to be used up. They're very this one's shriveling up. There's a couple of bad spaces, places on here. So I need to use this up. I've got a bell pepper that's starting to get a little soft in places. So I want to use that up. I want to use up half of this orange bell pepper. I don't want to use all of this bell pepper. So I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to cut that in half. And I'm going to put half of it in the freezer. I'm going to cut them into strips and put them in the freezer. They'll be great at another day for fajitas or something else. I'm going to use an onion. I've got two carrots, two stalks of celery. This mixed stuff, power greens, needs to be used up. So I'm going to throw that in there also. I'm going to fortify it with some more chicken. I had a half a bag in my refrigerator, but I can't find it anywhere. So I'm going to open this and use half of this. And I'll put some soy sauce and some Korean barbecue sauce in it. And I have a little bit of sesame oil in my pan. So I'm going to start chopping vegetables and heat up the oil and start stir frying it until it, the vegetables get nice and tender. And then I will add this to it and so we will have a good lunch today I added the container of this and I added two tablespoons of this so now it looks really good tons of good vegetables and I added about half of that chicken so now we have enough for both of us an authentic Asian stir-fry for lunch today yum hot and steamy. For dinner tonight on Saturday night we're having Lucille's takeout. So we have tri-tip, we've got brisket, baby back rib, beans. I fortified them with um, pinto beans because they put too much meat and stuff in them. So I think they're good when you just put pinto beans with them. 
And then we also have greens. And also I made a Linguisine mac and cheese. And it's really, really good. So that is what we are having for dinner tonight. Blue Seals Takeout. We get a really good deal. We get gift cards from Costco for 30% off. And then I had a 15 off $75 coupon. So this is a really good value because we have dinner for minimum two nights and probably three. So happy Saturday. All right, for dinner tonight, we've got Lucille's again. We've got leftover ribs, brisket. I did put some asparagus in the oven and roasted that. We also still have some more greens here. We've still got beans, and this is mac and cheese, the Lean Cuisine mac and cheese. So we have that really, really good, good dinner again. So like I said last night, it goes a long way. And when we use our coupon and our gift cards, we can eat for a couple of nights, and it's a very good value. So happy Saturday night. No, today's Sunday. Happy Sunday. First day of fall. First day of fall, yes. Happy first day of fall. For dinner tonight, we're having leftover sloppy joes, green beans, and french fries. So, happy Monday. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we are having spaghetti and salad. So, this is the Lean Cuisine spaghetti with meat sauce. I love this one. It's huge. It makes a big huge plate full. We are also having a simple salad with lettuce and grape tomatoes and then I made some garlic bread and I'm just having milk with dinner tonight because I'm going out tonight so happy Tuesday. For dinner tonight I'm gonna make some English muffin pizzas for myself and for my husband he is going to have leftover lucille's there's a couple of i think there's four ribs there's a little bit of brisket there's macaroni and cheese some mashed potatoes and some leftover green beans so that's what he's going to have and i'm going to make these english muffin pizzas so i'm going to put these in the oven and toast them up i've got still some leftover spaghetti sauce so i'm going to spread that on it I'm going to put some of this cheese, some turkey pepperoni, some onion, mushroom, this tomato that's getting squishy. If it's too squishy, I'll put it in the freezer and save it for soup. And then I'm going to put some orange bell pepper on it. Hopefully all this will fit. Once you start chopping vegetables, that's a lot. It may not fit on just two. I'm just going to do one of these and split it open so it's not going to be a lot of surface area so let's get to cooking and here's my english muffin pizzas and my caesar salad i ended up having to put the plate in the oven because they were falling all over the place so i had to put my salad in a bowl because otherwise it would be too hot on the plate so that's my dinner and then there is the leftover lucille so happy wednesday mm -hmm. For dinner tonight, I'm going to make pasta bake. I've got some pasta. I'm still trying to use this up, so I'm going to use up this ragu. I've got some cottage cheese. I've got a bunch of vegetables I'm going to saute up and put in the pasta bake. And I also have some Italian blend cheese to sprinkle on top. So let's get to cooking. I have everything all mixed up. In a pan, I put the cottage cheese, I sauteed onions, zucchini, carrots, mushrooms, and a little bit of yellow orange bell pepper. And then I put a bunch of cottage cheese in it. And all of this, and I filled it up with water. Ooh, there's a little bit left. Filled it up with water when it was done because it'll need extra water to cook the pasta. 
And so now I'm going to put the cheese on it and put it in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour and dinner will be done. And here it is, pasta bake. So I will serve it up with garlic bread and Caesar salad and dinner is done. Pasta bake, Caesar salad, and garlic bread. That's what's for dinner tonight on Thursday night. Happy Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. For dinner tonight, we are having frozen pizza. This is very ultra thin crust chicken and barbecue sauce pizza, and then very ultra thin crust supreme pizza. This is the Albertsons brand pizza. It's really good. And then we're having Caesar salad to go with it. So happy Friday at the pretend pizza parlor. For dinner tonight, we are having shredded beef tacos. So I put a small round steak that I had in the crock pot with onion and some chicken taco seasoning mix and cooked it on low all day. And then I shredded it all up. So we have some really good meat for shredded beef tacos. And so that's what we are having for dinner tonight. Shredded beef tacos, cilantro lime rice, and black beans, and a chip. So happy Monday. Happy Taco Monday. For dinner tonight, I'm going to make a big stir fry. I've got this chicken teriyaki lean cuisine meal. I'm going to microwave that. And then I'm going to add a bunch of vegetables to it and these chicken strips. So it'll be enough for two people. I have onion in here. So I'm going to stir fry all these vegetables up. Microwave this, then add it to the stir fry pan and add some of this uh, Korean barbecue sauce. This stuff was really, really good. Um, probably will finish that off and I hope to get another one soon. Really good. I uh, wish I had some kind of a egg roll or pot stickers to go with it, but I don't. But this will be a really good protein packed dinner with lots of good fresh vegetables. And I'll get this out of my refrigerator. The celery needs to be used up and I'll be happy to use it. So let's get to cooking. And here it is, stir fry with a whole bunch of vegetables and chicken, just a few noodles, but it is plenty. It smells really good. So that is our dinner for Wednesday night. Happy Wednesday.